AJ, taking care enough to get pink lipstick on his crisp white shirt. I grab a smooth hand and lead him to the back room where he removes his polished black shoes. The shower's ready for you. I just took a shower, but after those stairs, I could use another. When he unbuttons his long sleeve shirt, my eyes go straight to his extra set of nipples. And while I've seen many men and a lot of nipples, this is the first time I've seen one man with a lot of nipples. I avert my eyes. In this business, it's not a good idea to register shock when a client undresses. So I oversmile instead. I remove my dress and underwear slowly, like in the movies. Dragonfly Jay goes to the bathroom looking like President Obama, a svelte salt and pepper attorney with an elegant chiseled face and erect posture, and he emerges a couple of minutes later, a black Jesus with a towel wrapped around his shredded waist. Lie face down in the massage table. My skin and wrist know the sex trade like they know my underwear drawer, but filthy shame still seeps through my pores. See, despite the Lysol comment and Clorox wipes, I'm never cleaning hair. The thick film of oil on my skin at all times reminds me of slippery cocks and pendulous balls. My mind is clogged with internal attempts to befriend the girl who scrapes the spunk off her hands at the end of the paid hour. Actual conversations are sad attempts to connect and relate, thinly veiled desperation and loneliness in the form of small talk and about baseball games and new cars, acting jobs, depositions, divorces, and trips to Mexico. My mind wanders to the book I'm not writing and the teaching digs I'm not applying for because it's hard to write with a dick in your hand. <laughs> in the middle of nods and smiles, the sheen not in my neck wakes up, I dig my fingernails into the angry spot. It helps for half a second. I stretch Dragonfly Jay's long hairless arms between my greasy hands and rub from shoulder to palms. Tranquil drum music fills the room. I slide around the table until I'm between his legs. I lie on top of him naked and I feel my belly against his tailbone and my arms splayed on top of his. We are fine. I rub his thighs, calves, feet, and back with gusto. I look at the clock. Twenty-five minutes have passed. So I reach between his legs and touch his balls lightly. A tease. I slip off the table and whack a golden bell with a wooden stick. It sounds like a soft gong. I massage his head and my mouth touches his earlobe. Ready to turn over? Sure. Would you like a pillow? That'd be great. <laughs> the lingering chime reminds me of Calcutta, where at dusk, black bats fill a violet sky. During the call to prayer, vendors drop blankets onto the street and kneel and bow to their god. Bells ring in the air, smoky with incense. I drip golden oil on Dragonfly Jay's thighs like warm maple syrup on a gingerbread pancake. I stand by his head and reach over his eyes to tweak his accessory nipples with the tips of my index fingers. I'd read about his birth defect. Usually people just get one extra nipple, but Dragonfly Jay has two. He's special. Do you have sensation in these? He opens his eyes, two blinking dark chocolate pools. Yes, but not as much. His eyes meet mine, his expression soft like the towels folded in the corner. You could have a lot of fun with these, I say. You could pierce them. I circle the table again and climb on top of it, crouch between his legs, squeeze them. I'm not that adventurous, he says. I wonder if he's married, and if so, does his wife suck his extra nipples? Or does she shy away from them? Does he live with his mom? Is he alone? Time crawls around my throat. The gray door is locked shut, and burgundy curtains shrink the room. I trickle oil along his cock and press it between my palms, like I'm praying. It jumps. I rub his inner thighs to build up the tension and stroke slowly. He moans. Curly black hairs fall onto gold sheets and stick to my oily fingers. I sigh, knowing I'll, I'll find them later on the floor and I'll sweep and I'll sponge, but I'll miss a strand or two. They'll slide into dank corners. When he comes, my legs are under his legs, and my boobs pressed against his thighs. His back is arched, his four nipples, hard little cherry pits. I slither off the table and dunk hot towels into the crock pot of lavender oil. The towels signal it's over. I place them onto his belly, like a newborn, and I wipe away his cum, then hide these towels under the table. 
Exactly 50 minutes have passed. I'll be right back, I say. In the shower under hot water, I scrub the oil from my ribcage and I scoop the tiny hairs in the drain with my toes. I hear soft crying from the next room. I drop to my knees and wash and wash and wash. Thank you.